my name is ABC, and today I'm making another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make isometric type g games in Game Maker. Um, what is an isometric game, you may ask? Uh, an isometric game is a game that uses a type of art style that basically tricks you into thinking that it's, it's 3D. They use this in a lot of the older strategy games. Uh, the, the big one that sticks out for me is Age of Empires 2. It was yeah, and it looks exactly like 3D, but for as far as programming goes, it might as well be 2, 2D. So first off, you make sprites. So right click create sprite, call the first sprite SPR box. Add sprite, add some image, and just fill it in with the, any color. Now, next part, resize canvas. Resize it to whatever you want. I'm going to resize the first one to 48. And also, this direction. You can go whichever, whichever, whichever direction, they each look a little bit different. I'm just going to do this one right here. So, now that you've got the direction set, copy your box and paste it. And make sure it's in a different, the opposite corner from where your other box is. And then I'm going to select the black color. Then draw lines connecting the corners. Make sure that this line right here is a 45 degree, as at a 45 degree angle. Same goes for this line. Then outline the boxes. All right. So in this case, this top left box is the top. So make sure that that's you can't see any of the, any of the black areas. Oops. Make sure you can't see any of the lines with that one. Same goes for uh, these overlapping lines here. We just fill it in. And there's our box. In order to make it look more realistic, we're going to give each, each of the sides different colors. I'm just going to make them all different shades of black. This is different depending on the lighting, but this is what I'm gonna do it. So I guess in this case, the lighting would be coming coming from the right and more lower. Okay. So there's our first box. We can make these boxes as large as we want. I'm gonna make a slightly bigger one right here, and all I'm gonna do is transform, resize canvas. Make sure, four, six, four. Make sure that this direction is the same for every isometric block y you do. It needs to be the same for every single one because otherwise the game wouldn't look correct. So I'm just simply going to copy that and put on top of it. Pop, uh, then put it on top of it. Then I'm going to fill in these lines. Make it look a little nicer. Oops. There we go, there's a taller block. The third part we're gonna make is a player sprite. Not gonna make it look very nice. Just going to make it a simple circle. All good. Now, one very important thing with isometric games is you need it. Um, have the mask of the sprite outline the base. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So click on the sprite, click modify mask, and what this means is that um, we're, we're going to take want the player to only cloud out this base right here. If it, if it um, clouded the whole sprite, then it wouldn't be able to pass behind it as you see right here. In order to, in order to allow it work like that, we need to make sure that the collision checking only works for the base of the sprite. So the way we do that is you click manual right here and we create a square that outlines the base yeah. so just fill them in accordingly to make sure you get a square that outlines the base we're going to do the same for this one There we go. 
One more thing before we finish the sprite, when you're adding them to the room, it's in, it works a lot easier if you do this. We're going to set the origin to the top left corner of the base. So this will now be 16, 16, and for this other one, that'll be 32, 32. So now let's go to the objects. Create an object, uh, let's just name OJ player, let's get this one out of the way. And in the step event, I just type down code so um, it'll move in accordance to the arrow keys. I'm going to speed this up. Okay, that's all for that. One important thing for this is make sure you have this place three place free thing, otherwise it'll go straight through the walls. Okay, so let's create object. Let's call obj box one. Give it the sprite of our first box. And make sure it's solid. One important thing for the um for these isometric boxes is that when they overlap, it's possible that they'll overlap in ways that you don't want them to. That's a little bit difficult to explain, but if, if you got it wrong, then you would notice it right away. So, what you do is go to creation event, and in my case, in order to get depth right, I need to type down negative x minus y. There, depending on what angle you use for your, for your box, it could be different. So let me show you the what what it depends on. If the top of your box is to the right of the base, then you need to put down positive x. If it's to the left, then you need to put down negative x. If it's below it, you need to put down positive y. And if it's above it, you need to put down negative y. In our case, you have the base and you have the top, top is to the left and above the base. So to the left is negative x and to above is negative y, so therefore I have negative x, negative y. Right there. Pretty simple. Alright, and now let's duplicate that for our larger box, which we call obj box 2, and change the sprite. So now you can just hold and shift just hold and shift and add the walls. It's possible that it look a little bit weird now, like if I let's see. See like the, if I go to the left with that it looks a little bit weird. But it will when in the game, it won't look weird anymore. So there you have it. And I'm gonna add the player here. Now let's test it out. Alright, so the place moving around okay, that's not our testing. It stops whenever I go against the wall and it overlaps with the top of it if I come at it from the right angle. So that's exactly what we want. And if I cut it from here you can't even see it because the wall is so high. So that's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. The isometric tutorial is now off the list. Um, yeah, if you have any more requests, just tell me and I'll add them to this list and I'll get them done. See you guys next time.